how to install libgdx from windows all right here we are at the libgdx main official site uh, for those who don't know what libgdx is libgdx is a cross-platform uh, java development framework uh, you can use develop 3d8 and 2d applications and it is also a subclass of lwjgl uh, as you can see the latest version that we'll be installing will be libgdx 1.12.1 and let's get started. On the main page, you wanna click on get started, then scroll down, see setup instructions, then click on generate a project, and then you wanna click on the green download button for the libgdx setup tool. Then over to the gdx setup.jar, click open file, and then this menu should appear. Please note that these are the settings for your project. First is the project name, second is the package name, then the game class, the output folder, and then if you are developing for Android, your Android SDK. We are going to uncheck Android, iOS, and HTML for web. We're only going to be installing the setup for the desktop. Feel free to add official extensions, as well as third-party extensions are available. We're going to name our project. We're going to call this game. Then we're gonna name our package to your desired project. Then we're gonna rename our game class, call this game. And then we're gonna choose our output folder by clicking browse. All right, once you chose your output folder, then you wanna click on generate. Then if it says build successful, that means your project has been successfully implemented. Next is installing your IDE. We're gonna be using IntelliJ. I will have a link to this page in the description. We're gonna be downloading the community edition. All right, once IntelliJ is installed, we're going to head over and we're going to click on open. Then we're going to find your project's directory. Click on OK. And then Gradle will perform a task in the background. Once finished, we're going to go up to where it says current file, edit run configurations. Then we're going to hit the plus or add new. We're going to do application and then we're going to click on it. Name our application. Again, we're going to name it game. And then we're going to find Java version, which is Java 17. And then our module, which is going to be the desktop main. And then the class path. And it will show the desktop launcher. Hit OK. Hit Apply. Then OK. And then once you hit the arrow, your application should run. All right. If everything is successful and you did the run configurations right, this right here should pop up and you now have your libgdx project installed. Now let's define the packages that will be inside your projects folder. First, you have the asset, which is anything that is included with your application, such as textures or anything that needs to be loaded in memory. You have your core, which is where you're gonna be actually programming your application. This right here is your core engine. And then you have your desktop module, which is the launch for desktop. As you can see, this is what we did in the run configurations. And then the files down here is the build.gradle, which is you can add dependencies or app configurations. And this right here is the basic structure for the libgdx project. All right, that wraps up everything in today's tutorial. I hope you find this very useful. Feel free to go down to the link in the description to the main page of libgdx and set up your project. All right, have a good one.